Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of No Man's Sky. Well, here we are as one of our space stations. Uh, this is our main space station. I just uh, landed my ship over here. And uh, what I wanted to do today was uh, uh, talk about different problems when you start the game off. Um, whenever you start one of these, these games uh, uh, brand new in No Man's Sky, you're always going to be short of money and short of inventory space. Now, we just finished three episodes that showed how you can make some money, and today we're going to show how we can get some more inventory space, because I tell you, early on in the game, you have very limited number of spaces, and it's really tough to deal with. Let's open this up. Um, here's my exosuit, and as you can see, I have all 48 of my slots, available slots, opened up. Uh, when you start off, I think you get like 19 of these. You get like a, it's a handful of these little boxes here, and man, it's tough, because you know, they can hold, you know, this can hold like 900, 9,999 uh, of carbon or something like that. But, you know, it fills up really quick. Um, in your technology slots, you can have up to 14. Um, I think you start for like maybe five or six. So, you know, you're shorter there. And then the cargo slot, you can have up to 48, but you only have, start off with two. Then they give you that slot and then this slot here. So that's it. So you need to get slots as much as, as quickly as possible. So there are several ways of doing this to, to boost these slots up, and I'm going to show you the two uh, most common ways and easiest ways. There is, there is a cost involved in both of, both of these, but um, it really, really helps out, and I'll show you how to do it. It's, pre it's pretty simple once you know what you're doing. So we are in the station, and you know when you're, you come in the station and your ship turns around, you, you, you come out of the ship, and you can go in two different directions. If you go over that way, that's where your, the teleportation is and the, the guy that gives you the, uh, uh, the map coordinator and stuff like that, all those kind of things. If you go over here, though, onto the right-hand side, come up the ramp, uh, this is where the, all the, the vendors are that can help you out with your equipment and things like that. You know, here is where you can uh, uh, scrap an old ship or, or upgrade your current ship, and here's your appearance thing. Um, and you got all these, these vendors over here. This first vendor right here, when you first come up to him, every time you enter a brand new station that you've never been into before, right in this box right here, you're going to see an option for getting a new slot in your exosuit. It'll pop up, and if you want to have the slot, then you just uh, click on the, the E button, and uh, it will put it right in here. You can tell exactly where you want it. Now, that first uh, uh, district is going to cost you 5,000 units, though. So early on in the game, you may not have 5,000 units. You know, so it's a little tough. Um, so let's say you come in here and, and you're brand new and it says 5,000 units. Oh, I don't have 5,000. Well, you, you, can, you can click out of there. You can run around the station. You can do things. You, you can go in here. You can sell some items. Maybe you have some, some extra items you just picked up on your first planet. You can come in this way and sell some stuff over there. You can go on the other side of the space station and sell you know, over there. Um, as long as you still stay in the station, uh, you can keep walking up to this box and they'll still give you this, this offer to, to give you an, an inventory slot for 5000 If, however, you leave the station and go back to your planet or, or, or leave the station for any reason, from then on, whenever you come in here, there will no longer be an option in this particular station for that $5,000 first slot. Uh, what you would need to do is go into a different uh, space station in a different, uh, in a different solar system and uh, then they will offer you to sell you an inventory slot for 5,000 units. Um, now, the first one is 5,000 units. And then the second one, so after you buy that one, when you go into a new space station, then they'll say, oh, would you like to buy an uh, inventory slot? That second one's going to cost you 7,500 units. And then the third one will cost 10,000. And then I think it was 15,000 and 20. Anyway, it goes up until it hits about 100,000, and all these last ones are going to be 100,000 each. So that's, that's kind of pricey. Uh, the technology, same thing. Um, cargo, on the other hand, these are really pricey. The first, so in other words, let's say you go into the station for the first time and say, oh, would you like to get an inventory slot for 5,000 in here? Well, you know, if you click on here, it'll be 5,000. In technology, if you want your first slot there, it'll be 5,000. Click on cargo, the first slot in cargo is 50,000. 50,000 and it goes up it goes 50,000 75,000 100,000 eventually these, these right here are all a million slot a million units each each slot is a million units so very pricey 
very pricey. And if you're playing survival mode, you need these cargo ones really, really bad. So you're you're in kind of a kind of a tough situation. Um, so it makes a lot of sense to get these uh, slots as much as you can. But again, early on, your money's a little tight. So I'm going to show you another way um, to to get these slots easy, not easier. Well, here's the thing. You can like go from station to station and all these different, you know, use your hyperdrive and stuff. But the problem is, let me show you this. Um, after you go to like 50 stations, uh, you, you know how when you go to a station, as soon as you go to a station, then that station is, is now on your little teleporter thing. So whenever you want to teleport to a, you know, go to the teleportation thing up here. This will show me, when I go in here, it'll show me all the stations I've been to. Right, here's all the different stations I've been to, and I can click on whichever one I want. After you've been to 50 stations, um, the ones you've been to the least or the, the longest ago start to drop off because they can only have like 50. So, you know, if this is a great station for you, and it's, but it's your number 51, you can't go there. You can go, you have to fly there manually and then put it back on your list. So it's kind of a hassle. So you don't want to, you don't want to like spend all your time going to all, you know, a huge number of stations and just kind of go crazy with it. Um, so you want to go to the stations as you, as you, as you come to it. But there's a, another way of getting a lot of drop, uh, a lot of um, uh, inventory slots very quickly for a price. And let me show you how that is. Um, we'll be right back. Okay, we are flying around on my planet with my main base on it. I want to show you a, another way of getting inventory slots. Uh, it's a pretty convenient way of doing it. And that is finding these things right here. They're called drop pod coordinate data and there are these things that, that will you'll sometimes find just randomly um, but there are other ways of getting them too you can buy these things and what these do is they will take you to the location where you can get a, a, an inventory slot and uh, when you get them that way they're free well kind of free you have to use some uh, some resources to get them but um, so you find one of these things you know free on, in the wilds just from doing your missions and that's great but there are other places where you can actually buy these things Okay, so and that's what we're going to do today. So it's a lovely uh, morning, uh, sunrise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the different places you can find those uh, uh, drop pod coordinate data. So where'd he go? There's where my base is. So I have a couple things marked right over there, that, that yellow uh, star is where I permanently marked a, a local trading post. So you know some trading posts will have these available uh, to buy, to uh, for you to buy, and this particular one always has them to buy. Now, most of them don't; they're, they're, they're kind of unusual. Um, but this one I found, and <laughs> so I'll show you how, how what you do with this. Um, the other location you can find these at sometimes is at minor settlements. And uh, minor settlements are those um, areas where um, it's like a little base, a little mini base, um, with one landing uh, pad like this and a little building attached. Then you go inside the building, and there's usually a guy in there that will talk to you. And then sometimes there's a, a counter, and behind the counter is another guy, and he, he sells uh, components and blueprints. And uh, sometimes among those components is like one or two or four uh, drop pod coordinate data items. You can buy those from him and, uh, and have those. Uh, and, and there are ways of, of finding those things. Now, the trading post, this one right here, I found this and uh, said, oh, let me take a look at this. I, just, I was kind of flying around and found it. And uh, it was so good, I went ahead and, and marked it for, for permanent. Because what you do is you go in here, and here's the uh, exchange. And these are the things they have to sell. It's usually a lot of the same things. And they have some unusual ones. And Drop pod coordinate data. He's willing to sell me 50 of them. Uh, 97,000 units each, though. So, uh, and the demand is down right now. Uh, some places, they're much cheaper. I've seen them down like 59,000. Uh, usually around 60 or 70 is normal. This is kind of a high price. Um, but uh, so, yeah, you can buy, you know, one up to 50 on, on these things. Um, so you can get that way. Uh, at the... Uh, at the minor settlements, some of those carriages will sell them to you as well. They usually sell like you know, one, two, or four uh, units. Uh, I would generally buy all four of them. He had them before. Then I would mark that and go back later, and he replenishes his stock, so he buys some more. 
Uh, so, look, what do you do with these things when you get them? So, I've got... I got these 20, and uh, then I've got another 20 over here. So, I, I, I bought them all because I was so excited. I just bought them and I realized I don't need all of them. Jeez Louise, I only had this many slots left. So, I'll, I'll turn around and sell these uh, back. These are worth 1.7 million uh, wow. just for selling them back. So, I'll sell them back eventually when I fill up all my slots. Um, but let me show you what, what we do with them. So, let's say that you need... Uh, you bought you bought a, a uh, drop pod coordinate data. And say, all right, well, I, I need to get me an inventory slot. What am I going to do? So what we're going to do is we're gonna do our uh, uh, Z Z button. Go to go to tech to our portable, and we're going to look for our signal booster. I've already got that built, and I keep that in my inventory at all times. And what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the E button. It's going to come up all this. And what we're going to do is we're not going to do the first choice, which is which is really a good one, by the way. Uh, locate nearby structures. If you want to find one of those uh, minor settlements, this is a good way of doing it. Click on nearby structures. It maybe maybe turn that up. Maybe it's an observatory or a trading post or something like that. Uh, but a lot of times it's a minor settlement. That's, that's pretty good. Um, but in this case, we're going to decipher one drop pod coordinate data. There it is, right there. Far away is he? Right, so, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my backpack. We're going to fly over there. And we'll be right back when we get over there. Okay, we have just arrived at a drop pod. And there it is. But you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Mark my uh, location here. Now you can also find these drop pods just by flying around and just kind of falling, up, falling upon them, you know, because they're they're just kind of sitting out here in the wild. And I found a few of those before. I once flew into a brand new planet and just uh, you know picked a random spot in the planet, and there was a drop pod right there. So it was, that was pretty good. So you're going to walk in here, and it's going to give you an offer. There, there it is. There's the uh, exosuit. Um, model upgrade mod module and this is what's going to give you an inventory slot but there's a catch it's going to require uh 45 sodium nitrate and 40 oxygen this is going to require 55 ionized cobalt and this is going to require one antimatter and what is it going to do then is tell us say where do you want to put your slot now this is full here that one's full here so i'm going to put it in cargo I'm going to upgrade. Boom. I got it. Oops. Wrong button. Wrong button. Um, there we go. Let's take a look. There we go. So, let's say you, so you have to have it. And if, what I found is they all require those same things, the sodium nitrate and the oxygen and the um, ionized cobalt. Now, if you don't have those right off the bat, of course, what you're always going to want to do always going to want to do sorry is uh carry around a bunch of cobalt and sodium and oxygen with you and i've got mine up here um and so i've got sodium and sodium nitrate i've got my cobalt and ionized cobalt if you're if you're out of ionized cobalt or, or sodium nitrate what you can do is just kind of grab your personal refiner and then here just go ahead and click on i'll put in our sodium Put in a certain amount, it'll spit out the sodium nitrate that we need. Do the same thing for the cobalt to get the ionized cobalt. It's easy to make a, um, the antimatter, and then you're ready to go. So until next time, this is Greg29407 saying au revoir, and we will see you next time.